Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather and I'm so excited to be your Saint Mama. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a super fast, super easy, all-in-one makeup look using not only our Saint 3D palette number four, which this is the smallest size of the custom palette options that we have, but I'm also so excited because I have finally found my perfect Saint color in the brand new Athens. So I have been an artist for six years. I've been a customer for a year and a half prior to that. And I have literally worn everything from Aura to Sandy, I would say as my main highlight color. And the minute that I put Athens on my face, I was so stinking excited because it's literally it's perfect. It's my perfect color. So if you're curious if it could be the perfect color for you, or if you're looking for a more simplified look or routine that's really fast and easy with just a couple brushes, that's what I hope to do in today's video. I'm gonna go back to basics and I'm literally just gonna use one highlight color, a contour, a lip and cheek, and an illuminator on my entire face, everything from eyes to my brows. And hopefully we, if I'm not talking too much, we'll be able to do this thing super quickly. And I'm also gonna share a little bit of a different technique from how I have applied my makeup because I just got back from our reunion, which is our annual conference for Saint. And as always, I learned so much about the makeup, about the business, and all of the things. So I'm going to bring a little bit about that with you guys today. So I'm going to use the blend brush. And the inspiration behind me using the blend brush is I actually had the pleasure and honor of doing some makeovers on some foster care teens from the Boysville gosh, home, I guess you would say. It's really like a compound that's in San Antonio, Texas, where we had our reunion. And it was really special to be able to help those teen moms and teen foster kids really just feel beautiful. And Saint was gracious enough and generous enough to give them a bunch of free makeup. Like, I think it was like $300 worth to each and every one of those girls. And what's really cool is they didn't even like really talk about it or publicize it. There's no pictures, no slick marketing videos. But that's the heart of Saint, and I was so proud and honored to be a part of it. But Savannah Polson, who is a great friend of mine and an amazing artist, she shared the magic of using this one brush when you want that really easy look. So maybe you're a no-makeup girl, or maybe you have a teen daughter like I do, or maybe you are a teen, and you just want something really simple. So here's what she says to do. Use the blend brush, your main highlight color, barely tap it in there, and what you're going to do is you're going to do tiny little swirls which reminds me, anybody remember Bare Minerals? It reminds me of Bare Minerals. And you're just going to use just the littlest amount. Like I probably even had more than what I need. And you're only going to put this on the areas where you need the coverage. So instead of a traditional foundation, I'll do half my face and then show you the other. Instead of a traditional foundation where you're applying everything all over, this is just giving me a little bit of coverage on the areas where I might have a little bit of redness or kind of melasma. And I'm going to take advantage of another tip that I learned and that I naturally have lighter under eyes. So I might pop just a little bit on the area where I have the darkest point right there with the Athens color. And you can use the denser side of the brush if you have some areas that maybe need a little bit heavier coverage. So again, I'm going to do half my face with it and let you guys see what it looks like. So just super light, easy peasy coverage, okay, with the Athens. Then, same brush, I'm going to go in with the, I'm using Olive Contour. And it's nice and has like a warm and a coolness, but it's subtle enough for pretty much anyone. It's one that really is beautiful on a lot of skin tones. And I'm just going right underneath that cheekbone. Again, right up here on the top of my forehead. Like that. And underneath my chin. Like, and then I'm going to do my cheek color right there on just like the area where I would blush, which Kara, our CEO, was saying that we all blush naturally in a different way. And you can see where you blush, especially if you have a little bit of redness in your face. So, you know, rather than trying to eliminate all of it, like just bringing back that natural flush with your blush, or rather than trying to sculpt with it, because we can do that a little bit with the contour, you just do it where you would normally naturally get a little bit of a flush. And then I'll put just a little bit of this using my finger. Again, I'm going to do half and half like this. And then I'm going to put the illuminator up top. So this is Georgia illuminator. So I've got Athens. Let's see, 
Can I do it? Okay, I've got Athens, Olive, Madrid, and Georgia. Athens, Olive, Madrid, and Georgia. And I'll do my eyes in a second. But do you see how, like, it's a night, nice, a natural, that's the word I'm going for. It's a natural light coverage, but I still get the coverage. I still get the dimension. See that, how my cheekbone is popping? So let's do the other side just so you can see it again. So again, I'm just lightly not putting this all over. Literally, I had a, a big friend come to visit, which was lovely. Let me tell you, I actually taught a breakout session on alternatives to social media. If you've ever heard my podcast, the Called to Lead podcast, this is something that I'm super passionate about. So I was honored to speak on stage twice, actually. But of course, I had that huge little friend come to visit. So I've got a little bit of sunspots here from playing golf. So I'm fluffing it on there and also up there as well. So again, I'm not worried too much on trying to cover everything from a little redness in my cheeks area. But I'm just going on just the darkest points or the parts that need a little bit of filter, a little bit of coverage, okay? Next up, contour again, easy peasy. You're gonna see that sculpt come together. And if you haven't used this blend brush, y'all, it's seriously... It's magic and it's the perfect brush if, again, you prefer a light coverage or maybe if you're watching this and it's the summertime and you're going out on the boat or to the beach and you just want a little bit of something, maybe you even use like a tinted sunscreen and you want just like a little bit of an extra dimension, this can absolutely make it happen, get it done. Okay. Now we're going to go here and I might create just a little bit of a shadow underneath my lip here with the contour, just to clump them up a little bit and wipe what's off there. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of the shimmer from the Georgia right in the center. And it's gonna make my lips look more full and give them a nice little shimmer. Okay, so Georgia up here as well. See, look at the coverage. Light, super simple, easy. Then I'm gonna do just a wash of Georgia, which one of the days of the conference or the reunion <laughs> I stayed up a little too late and didn't really have time to do much on my eyes. So I just washed a little bit of the Georgia on my lids and it was so pretty. And then one of my favorite ways to use the contour if it works for you, and I would say olive is not necessarily my perfect color for this, but it'll get the job done. Astoria is spot on perfect, but I'm gonna fill in my brows with it. And that way I can get that little polished off, finished look that still look really natural. And it only takes like less than a minute more to do and it's well worth it. So I'm just filling in my natural brow shape with it. Since it is a cream, it just goes on really soft and pretty easy peasy and really beautiful. So if you haven't yet tried doing your contour in your brows, definitely give it a go. Or if you haven't tried seeing it at all, definitely I would love to give you a free custom color match. All you have to do is check out the link in this description of this video. And you can just click a little form, fill it out. It takes like less than a minute. Super easy peasy. And I will shoot over the colors that I recommend to you. And when I do color match you, I might color match you with more than just the main highlight because I do usually love to recommend two highlights, a contour, a couple of lip and cheeks because a girl's got to have options, right? Bronzer, shadows, all the things. So if that's my response and you're seeing this video and you're like, wait, I thought it was just going to be for... Don't worry, you can either start with our number four collection and kind of self-match, and I'll drop that link below as well. Or I, you can just pick from the main colors. You can do main highlight, contour, lip and cheek, and an illuminator. And then don't forget to add your brushes or any bundles that you want. But see how fast that is. See how simple on a day like today where I'm just running around working out, just keeping it really simple. This look is so perfect. Maybe I'll do a little nose contour just last minute, just because why not? Because we've got it here. I'm just putting a little bit with my finger on either side of my nose like that. And then with the light, lighter color, Athens, putting red. And you guys, Athens is amazing. It will be available on April 21st. And I have a feeling it'll probably become one of our best selling colors because it's magic and it's going to be so good on so many different people. So definitely check out the link um, in the description to shop follow if you want to see more videos like this and let me know in the comments maybe any questions that you have or the things that you would like to see or like to learn about and again thank you guys so much for watching have a fabulous week